What's up everybody? Uh, just another day with a double set of high volume squats and some high volume bench. Um, everything felt smooth today. Everything, I felt powerful, felt uh, full, felt strong, all that good stuff. Uh, form felt on point for squats. Well, there's a text message. Um, the form felt on point for squats. I'm right at parallel, if not below. Like I, I it always seems like I'm. I could be high or not, but it's just the way I squat because I allow so much forward knee travel because of the whole meniscus issue. But I should be good. Hit 405 for five sets of three. Felt felt real nice. The last sets were getting tough just just because of the high volume of the situation. But um, it all felt good today. I felt real, real nice. And I think my body's really liking the whole high volume uh, approach that Shiko has. And I, I would recommend this to any strength athlete, you know, because like it, it seems to be how uh, the, all the great Olympic lifters approach everything, like get in the gym as much as you can and maybe not kill yourself like don't do burnout sets know when to know when to call it quits on a set but just work and work you know i'm squatting two or three times a week and i'm feeling fine like you can see these squats i feel good and yeah you have to take uh, an active stance on your recovery like i wake up every morning and do a full body foam roll and full body stretch but what that's 10, 15 minutes out of my day that I have to wake up a little earlier. That's that's no big issue whatsoever. And squats felt great today. Um, my back felt perfect. That seems to be healing with uh, the whole focus on glute activation and the elimination of the butt wink that I had previous to this. But then I went on to bench. I ended up doing five sets of three with 260. Those felt great. Um, I paused all the reps, so they were, they weren't, it wasn't a cakewalk, but you're going to see everything move pretty nice, despite I had a little, some hiccups with form on the, uh, on some of the sets where I pressed down towards my belly as opposed to towards my face, and that's just, that's just a lapse in following cues, you know, and that, that's just mental focus, and as long as I have that mental focus on the set, it'll be fine, you know, and You'll, you'll see it. I think it happens in like the second or third set. I don't know. But um, as you can see on these squats, they're still moving fine. I think this is the last set. But um, yeah, like everything felt good. I'm either right at parallel or hitting parallel. And you see I'm definitely activating my glutes because I'm hip thrusting at the end of the movement. And I've begun to only do like the competition setup with a bunch of leg drive on bench when I'm at my top set, like all the, uh, all the other sets, I do uh, more flat back and uh, like legs further out in front of me just because it's more comfortable for my back. And I, I figured if I get my upper body stronger without the arch and without leg drive, then once I incorporate that, I'll be even stronger, you know? So as you can see, I'm tucking nice, pausing nice, and uh, I think it's on this set that I press towards my belly, but I'm not sure. You'll, eh, sorta. But um, you'll see on one of these. And honestly, the biggest issue that we're gonna have in the uh, upcoming weeks is I'm I'm gonna start up uh, college classes once again, and I'm taking 18 credit hours with three labs. So even without my normal situation that'd be pretty tough to handle but on top of that i'm going to be working just under full time in order to uh pay for college you know because that's that's the situation i'm in i i gotta gotta make money so i can continue to go to school you know and it's the big the big test that i'm gonna face in the future or in like next week honestly is uh, being able to finish these workouts in a respectable amount or in a manageable amount of time, you know, because these these workouts take a long time because it's such high volume that by the end of it, I'm wanting to take like five, five, six, seven minutes of rest in between the sets just to uh, prevent myself from like dying, uh, no breath and whatnot. But 
we'll face that when it comes you know i'm not a honestly i'm not opposed to bringing homework into the gym or uh bringing a book and just reading in between sets or i talked to uh my lifting partner who's been coming down he's a novice um but i talked to him and i was like maybe if i do a double set of squats like squat bench squat in between the bench and squat i may uh just walk on the treadmill for a bit and like try to read a chapter of biology or something you know it's it's doable and as as you guys as the people who know me uh know that i'm not afraid to make sacrifices and whatnot and sacrifice social life and sleep in order to reach the goals that i have but as you can see these are uh, my beltless squats to end the workout i did 350 for five for five sets um they felt good uh my abs were pumped after this but then i went on to do three sets of 10 with ab work i'm loving shiko so far i'm nervous to start number 30 but We'll see.